Sip by two day, it'll be Michael. Keep shit spicy, tipping tiny. Yellow bone chick look like hey Donnie. Freaking a sheep, bring on them teeth. Niggas been hooked since big old free. I realized that I was a shit when R&B niggas wanna start rap beef. These niggas ain't got no name on them. Wish these hoes stopped trying to put claim on them. He come around me, get game on them. If he don't go, then I already came on them. These new hoes sound like my mixtape. Bitches love saying my name like it's bait. I don't take shit if they come with the dishes. I don't rock shit if they come in his name. I'm not your baby, I cost don't sleep on me. Look like a lick, then I'm putting the freak on them. I love these niggas that's begging I'm pain. Cause my bitch a young thug and I'm the rich homie boy. I ain't finna read all in text, don't know what it said, but I sent it to bed. Lately my patience been getting real low. Lately I feel like I need no respect. It was the money for me, ayy. He gon' go dummy for me, ayy. He ain't that cute, but he could dress. He's to protect for me, ayy. It was the need for him, mm. the way that it squeezed for him, ayy. He done fucked a whole lot of bitches, but it was the mean for him, ayy. Y'all wanna take me out so bad. I make all of y'all hoes so mad. Hoes went about them big ass teeth. Hit me out smell, still going out sad. Hoes got jokes, but I never wanna stand up. Hoes got balls, but you know I got handles. Damn, I must be Olivia Poe, cause y'all keep putting me in all of these scandals. He wanna hit one more time, I ain't pretty. Don't need no closure, my diamonds got clarity. Telling his new bitch that he don't do Instagram. Really, he hate when he's going, see pictures. Like a new show, all these niggas is sending me. Funny how bitches turn into my end. I must be playing peekaboo, cause these hoes really can't see. Ah. Titles, if I do, they it'll be Michael. Keep shit spicy, tipping tiny. Yellow bone chick look like hey Donnie. Freaking a sheep, bring on them beats. Niggas been hooked since big old free. I realized that I was a shit when R&B niggas wanna start rap beef. These niggas ain't got no name on them. Wish these hoes stopped trying to put claim on them. He come around me, get game on them. If he don't go, then I already came on them. These new hoes sound like my mixtape. Bitches love saying my name like it's quick bait. I don't take shit if they come with the bitches. I don't rock shit if they come in his name. I'm not your baby, your cops don't sleep on me. Look like a lick, then I'm putting the freak on them. I love these niggas that's begging I'm pain. Cause my bitch a young thug and I'm the rich homie boy. I ain't finna read all the texts, don't know what it said, but I sent that to bed. Lately my patience been getting real low. Lately I feel like I need more respect. It was the money for me, ayy. He gon' go dummy for me, ayy. He ain't that cute, but he could dress. He's the protect for me, ayy. He was the need. From you, shady, I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. And another woman that can take your spot, my love So sad, so sad, when love will make you 
पे है I just look out. I just like all this greenery. I like nature stuff. Mm. Let me go over here. There's some more ducks over here. I was one up close. So close. There goes a swan. Somebody took their wedding pictures over here last time I came. And her dress was so beautiful. It was poofy. Some over there too. It's so pretty. Hello. Yeah. Oh, it's a frog. frog. I was just about to say. It's burning up above a hill. Closer to me. <laughs> Almost right one way right next to me. Look at it. Oh, Yes, I can see that. And notice she's wearing earrings. Notice the little loop de loop on her ear. So pretty.
Look, alligator. This, it's well, real. Let me get my phone to the actual alligator. It's real. It's breathing. I see it. Let me take a picture of it. This is so pretty. I love the African music. It's so many more persons in here. I'm not going to. Thank you. I don't know what I'm going to eat though. That's the, that's the question. What are we going to eat? I know you're getting to Get you blurred down the back lane. That's a lot going on now. <laughs> 
just I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna finish on it. Like you have two different types of, sh oh, it's, are those scallops? Yes. Well, I say you have two. Welcome back to another vlog. I know this vlog was just all over the place. I apologize for all of the mixing of the different clips and videos. So originally when I first started this vlog, it was like back in February or March. No, I'm lying. It was roughly April. I'm gonna say April or May when I first started this vlog and then I just never finished it because I was really in a bad state. So what I'm about to do is give y'all like a recap of a life update of what's been going on and why I've been MIA. So first, I probably I probably should have inserted me giving the life update in the beginning of the video, but I didn't want it to be too much confusion, so I just let everything play. But basically the first five or six months of the year, I was in a very depressed mindset and state. As y'all have known back in my previous vlog, the last vlog that I have uploaded, I wasn't working and I wasn't in nursing school. It left me feeling very miserable and upset and just overwhelmed and all the above, just thinking of the worst. I kept questioning myself a lot while I was at home, um, just thinking, you know, the worst, thinking the worst scenarios such as, what if I never get into nursing school again this year? What if I never find a job that works for me and fits for me? So it was just a whole lot, a whole lot of, plus some other personal stuff with family. It was just, it was a lot. While I was at home the first um, few months, beginning of the year, I was applying to other nursing schools and jobs. And I didn't finally hear anything from a job until um, maybe like mid or late March. I got hired at a clinic. Um, working front desk, a patient service representative, and it's a well-known clinic. Um, so I was very, you know, happy, like, yay, finally I found a job, someone who wants to hire me after going to so many interviews and attending Zoom and phone calls month after month, just trying and trying, and finally somebody, you know, wanted to hire me, and it was a great fit. So I started working at that facility at the clinic for about almost five months now. I started working there April 15th and then I resigned recently on September 6th. And the reason for me resigning is because, well, one, it was a full-time job, which was fine. That was what I was looking for in the beginning since I wasn't in school. But it was because of a scheduling conflict um, between um, the job and then me getting um, I'm getting ready to start nursing school again this fall. Well, let me backtrack a little bit. So I resigned the job, like I just told y'all, due to me returning back to school this fall, September 23rd. But the main reason why I left the clinic is because it was not only conflict in school, but also my personal life, such as, you know, socializing with my friends and family and me not attending my dog enough. I wasn't walking him anymore. I wasn't playing with him anymore. And it's just become just too too much where to the point where i have to decide like do i want to continue working at this job and, and allowing it to drain me or do i want to um find something else that's more um of a good life balance and it was a really hard tough decision due to the relationships i have made with the people at the job such as my co-workers on my team and also <laughs> the money because out of all the jobs I ever worked at, because I've been in healthcare a long time since I was like 15 or 16, and this was the most job I would consider as close to being a big girl job in terms of the income that I was receiving, because it was really nice um, pay and benefits, but you know, I had to choose what was right and what's best for me and my, you know, future career in my family. So it was very hard submitting the resignation letter. I had gave them a month's notice. Usually I know typically you give your employers two weeks notice, but the reason why I gave them a month's notice because I wanted to 
Um, of course, make sure I was good financially. And then also, I wanted to make sure that my job was good because the type of work that we were doing requires a lot. And I didn't want to just leave. And then there wasn't a good transition of someone to take in my place to make sure that my the rest of my uncompleted work will be completed. Because we are all um, individually assigned to a doctor, well, two doctors, and I didn't want my work not being completed. So yeah, it was very sad. Of course, everyone there was sad. And then on my very last day on September 6th, they had surprised me with pink roses, pink cupcakes and cards because they know how much I love pink because I'm such a girly girl. So it was very sweet. I honestly was not expecting that. So it did make me tear up and very emotional. And I told them I would continue to stay in touch with them. And both my managers, the um, supervisor and the um, assistant director of the um, clinic, they both told me if I ever need to come back or need another job, they'll definitely rehire me. And it was very sweet of them to, you know, tell me that but I know for certain I probably won't be coming back, but you never know. Things happen for a reason, and sometimes we do have to return to a job if something isn't working out, and I'm glad that I do have a backup with them. I know that I'm in a safe place, and I can always come back if needed, but I'm hoping this new job that I've accepted um, about three weeks ago, it's another um, clinic except for it's physical therapy, and it's one of the best um hospitals in the nation um so very you know happy and proud of myself that again i'm making another nice career move because as y'all know i'm trying to be a registered nurse and so this is something um very great and good as well to have on my resume so i actually start the job tomorrow it's another uh, representative position except for i'm going to be working basically two jobs i'm going to be working at the front desk and uh, multi-testing with the patients i'll be like hands-on with them teaching them the exercise movements of physical therapy and educating them a little bit but i'm still going to be like 80 percent at the front desk so so i start my first day tomorrow um september 16th um a little nervous i'm hoping and praying that everything goes well and that you know I would like the job because um, again I need something that's more life balance and it is a part-time position which is different from the job that I was previously at so I won't be there you know not all day long every single day it'll be well I don't have to explain it y'all know what a part-time job is but basically um, it'll give me that freedom still to like maneuver between my personal life and work life and that's what I'm looking for is a nice balance because I'm the type of person, I don't like to be overwhelmed and stressed and working myself too hard, although I still do anyway. <laughs> but, you know, it's, I don't want it to be to the point where I'm just coming home and going to bed every day. Now. Like, I don't want it to be like, you know, me not wanting to do anything, just low of energy every day. Like, so yeah, that's the two updates with that. I have another new job. Um, I'm returning back to nursing school. I'm returning back to nursing school on the 23rd, so I'm excited about that. And this is at a new school, by the way. This is not at the previous school that I was at. It's at a new school, which is exciting, new beginnings, new chapter, new people, just basically new everything. So I'm really excited to be a part of this program and looking forward to continuing my education so I can become a registered nurse as what I have been fighting for and dreaming for for the past couple of years now. And I just think about all the time, like once I graduate, God willing in 2026 or seven, I'm gonna have an amazing story to tell from in my future. Like this has been a journey, like y'all just don't understand. It's, I've been through a lot and I'm not the only one in the world, I'm sure who's been going through different battle, life battles, but baby, it has been a lot. And I just can't wait to the day when I'm walking across that stage with my diploma and then next passing the NCLEX. Like I cannot wait to get to that moment, to that, that part of my life. Like when I, when I watch other um, people on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram, when they pass their NCLEX and graduate nursing school and things like that, like I'd be so happy. And I just be thinking like, I can't wait to get, get there. Like, oh my God, that's going to be I'm, I'm probably going to like literally cry like a baby. Pretty much it, you guys. I'm officially back on YouTube. I've been away too long. So now I'm back officially. And I can't wait to finish these last couple of months of the year with you guys. I can't wait to see what else is in store for me. 
I feel like 2024 so far is about new beginnings, new chapters for me, not just with jobs and school, but also like relationships, friendships. And speaking of relationships, I have been dating um, a lot the past couple of months, talking, you know, to guys and hanging out and things like that. I'm not in an official relationship with anybody. I'm just, you know, mingling and talking and chatting and hanging out type of vibe. But um, I have also been experiencing dating just a little off and on, though, with it. Because, again, I'm trying to still get myself situated um, career-wise and job-wise. And then also, right now, I'm currently focusing on my health. I want to get back to um, eating better because I've been eating so terrible due to my depression. So I'm trying to lose the the added additional weight that I have gained over the past couple months. So we're trying to do better with that. I've been walking my dog more now, an hour a day. We've been walking two to three miles per day. So just trying to keep that the consistency going with that. And I'm currently planning um, a birthday trip that I want to take. My birthday is in January. So um, I have a couple of ideas and places of where I want to go, what I want to do. I'm not sure yet if I want it to be like a group thing, like like me going with friends or just a solo trip. But I'm thinking um, I'm thinking of a, like a cabin trip someplace. I don't know exactly where yet, but that's the little sneak peek, and that's all I'm gonna give y'all. But as the time gets closer to my birthday, then I may reveal a couple of things with y'all. But that's the only sneak peek I'm thinking of. That would be very, very fun. It's something new. I have never, ever traveled. I have never, never went out of town or traveled for my birthday. So it'll be a first thing. It'll be something new to try and do. I feel like everybody should at least go on a trip for their birthday. I always do the usual, you know, either have a celebration at home or go out to dinner. But for my 27th birthday, I really want to do something different, like go out of town, like outside of Chicago. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. So... I'm back in action. I'm going to be posting more on Instagram and TikTok as well. You know, get into my content um, creator. I want to get more into my content creator era. Oh, one last thing. I did not want to end this vlog without showing y'all my camera. I finally got me a camera. Yay. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a Sony camera. The Sony FZ1, I think, if I said it right. Uh, <laughs> I'm still learning, of course on how to use it i got it let me see thursday and i ordered it from amazon i got the tripod from target and you guys i was so lucked up on it when i went to target on friday the 13th <laughs> friday 13th oh my god i'm such a lame but yeah uh <laughs> I had went in there to buy me a short tripod because the one that my phone is sitting on that I'm filming with now, it's very, very long. And I wanted something a little shorter that I could just handheld when I'm out and about, want to vlog, you know, socializing with friends or going on errands and things like that. And this was perfect. And it was the last one in the store. So I was so lucked up that day. Um, and I like it. It's very flexible. Of course, it can stand like this, but it can also bend like this. So if I want to, like, for example, try to, like, attach it to a shopping cart or something while I'm vlogging, it can, like, literally handheld it. So it's very flexible in terms of, like, how you want to use it. But lately, I've just been keeping it like this, or I'll just, you know, stand it up like this. So... If you're interested or want to know the name of this tripod, I can um, link it down below or put it in the description box if you guys want want me to. It's called a Joby, J-O-B-Y. But yeah, um, and then I'll link down the camera too. So um, I did a lot of research with vlogging cameras and, they, and then on the internet it says this one is one of the best in terms of someone who's like new to vlogging and I'm still new to it, although I've been on youtube for about maybe a little over a year or two my channel but i've been um researching and it said this is one of the best if you're like a beginner um learning how to use a camera you know just play with it and stuff like that and learn it and luckily i'm blessed um with my little sister she's really into photography she actually went to school to columbia and took classes on photography because that's what she wants to do as a career and so she's been guiding me and giving me advice and helping me which is so sweet 
So without her, I would have been completely lost. But I still go to YouTube and, of course, Google things when I don't know it. But it's also nice, too, to have someone to assist. So I, of course, load her up with lots of questions. <laughs> so, yeah. So the footage that was on this vlog that you all just watched is, like, half of me using my iPhone and then the other half is using this camera. But for the next upcoming vlogs that I'm going to um, actually start tomorrow, it will be on this camera. So so you all can maybe see a difference or maybe not. But um, just give me some grace if the footage looks a little crappy or the audio is messy. I did realize in the um, clips with me at the zoo and things like that, it was too shaky. So I have to remember when I'm walking and stuff like that and I try, to, try not to shake the camera too much move it too much so i will practice that more because i know some of you may say why does she keep shaking up the footage but <laughs> just like i said cut me some slack i'm gonna get better the more i practice and play with it yeah then yesterday i had got my eyebrows done and my nails i hate my nails it's not what i asked for but i guess i'm one of them girls at the nail salon like i'd be too scared to speak up but really i should have said something because i'm paying for it but I just, you know, let it go. But when it's time to get my um, two-week fill in, I'm going to ask for these to be soaked off and um, reapply because I wanted the long almond-shaped nails. Well, not long because I'm a more of a short nail girl, but I wanted more rounded. It's too much like an almond to me. I don't know. And then the color, I kind of wanted something a little darker. It's giving little red chili peppers. <laughs> That's what it's giving. It's just not cute to me. I was going for like a cute fall red color, but yeah, I don't I don't care for it. So we're gonna have to stick with these red chili peppers the next two weeks, and then I'll get it taken off to get a better shape. Um, nails in a darker color, darker red. I may get a red again, or I'm thinking of green because I'm a fall girly and I'm just all with the vibes right now. And then I got a sew-in done to my hair on Thursday, the 12th. Right now, I just slipped it into a ponytail. But once I um, finish this vlog, I'm going to add my foam rollers in it to curl it up. As y'all saw in the previous clips, when it was curly, I had used foam rollers. I don't really use too much heat on my hair because this is a leave out. It's not 100% weave. I have some of my real hair out too in. I just don't like to damage my hair. Although, yeah, I do use heat protectant, but it's also not good to like, you know, apply heat to your hair every single day. So I just use the foam rollers and it always turns out good every time. I get compliments when I'm out and about. So, so that's what I'm about to do in a few minutes. And yeah, so thank you so much. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around and watching my vlogs. If you're new, thank you so much for just deciding to click and watch my video. I appreciate it. And I hope you'll continue watching my um, videos and join our growing family. We're almost to 100 subscribers. That may be small to somebody, but to me, it's still a win. The fact that people are liking my content it, it means a lot and every day again I'm still learning and still trying to figure out my own style and what I want people to watch and enjoy so um I see that my videos the most um, watched videos is my nursing school content so again I will have some content of that coming soon because school is right around the corner so expect to get some some more of that but um mostly I'll be just posting a little bit of everything. I really like this series that I started, a girl um, just figuring her life out in her mid-20s. I feel like that's relatable for a lot of people out here because, you know, in your mid-20s, it's not easy for some of us, especially in this new era of time. It's pretty hard trying to figure out, you know, your life, like what you're trying to do, what you want to do career-wise, job-wise. You know, it's just a lot trying to, you know, figure out who you are as a person and who do you want to be what do you want your future to be like so that was the whole point of me making this series because I'm a girl in my mid-20s still trying to figure life out right now and I know someone out there can relate so yeah I'm gonna stop yapping and <laughs>
uh, get to planning out my uh, week. I got to do laundry still, um, pack up my lunch for my first day of work tomorrow and figure out what to wear. And of course, that's going to be on the next vlog that I'm going to start filming once I complete this one. So thank you so much again um, for your support. I love all of you new and returning subscribers and hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, evening, morning, wherever you are watching this.